hello viewers welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is spinal cord compression uh, but before starting this topic I would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos uh, to support this channel and if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and uh, the link is uh, uh, in the description area which is uh, just below this video so do not uh, forget to visit the website if you need more information now i come to the topic uh, spinal cord compression you know the spinal cord has the nerves uh, and their function is that they send the signals and the messages back and forth between your brain and the rest of your body you know. and the spinal cord compression occurs when a, a mass places the pressure on the cord you know. and that mass can include a tumor or a bone fragment you know and the compression can develop anywhere along with the spinal cord from neck to your lower spine you know so it can happen anywhere you know and the next thing is what are the symptoms of uh, the spinal cord compression you know you know the symptoms uh, can vary you know and they depend on how severe the compression is and uh, what area of the spinal cord is compressed you know and one of the most common symptoms is stiffness or the pain in the back or in the neck you know or the numbness or weakness in the legs in the hands or in the arms can develop you know and a condition known as uh, a cordyquina syndrome it can develop you know if the compression is in the lumbar region or in the lumbar area you know and the symptom of the syndrome include like uh, uh, severe pain and the weakness in the legs a loss of bowel or the bladder control and the severe numbness in the back of the legs uh, and the inner thighs you know so these are the common symptoms of the uh, called Aquina syndrome, you know, uh, which is uh, uh, develops in the lumbar region, you know, compression in the lumbar region, you know. And the spinal cord compression affects uh, the fine motor skills and the coordination, you know. So these are the symptoms, you know. And the next thing is what are the causes of uh, this uh, cord compression, you know. You know, the spinal cord compression has many possible causes and uh, the compression can come suddenly in some cases you know and uh, it can occur over time uh, in other instances you know the cause of the spinal cord compression include like uh, certain like degenerative uh, diseases you know like arthritis or uh, uh, other diseases you know, which can lead to the spinal cord compression you know and the other reason is uh, like the ruptured disc uh, that can lead to the spinal cord compression or the injury to the spinal cord or maybe bleeding disorder coupled with uh, like a chiropractic manipulation can result in large clots which compresses the spinal cord you know and the bone spurs uh, can narrow the spinal canal uh, causing the compression to the spinal cord you know so these are the main uh, uh, or maybe in, uh, cancerous and uh, non-cancerous tumors that grow in the space near the spinal cord you know so they can also put compression or pressure on the cord that uh, uh, if this occurs uh, they can cause the compression you know so these are the main causes of the spinal cord compression now the next thing is are there any risk factors involved well anyone can develop an injury or can develop the condition that can lead to the spinal cord compression you know and there are few risk factors uh, have been identified which may increase your chance you know like uh, use of poor lifting techniques uh, they may increase the risk of uh, neck and uh, like uh, back injury you know which can cause the spinal cord compression and uh, the people who have uh, like osteoarthritis they may also be at increased risk of developing the spinal cord compression you know so these are the two main risk factors you know now the next thing is how do doctors diagnose that someone has the uh, spinal cord compression you know you know doctors can diagnose the spinal cord compression by performing the medical history the physical examination uh, and uh, uh, if he suspects you know then uh, he may order the CT imaging test like CT scan or x-rays or maybe MRI you know and uh, the CT scan and the MRI can 
provide uh, detailed images of your spine you know they are very useful uh, tests to diagnose the uh, spinal cord compression you know and your doctor may order the myelogram uh, which is another test you know and uh, it involves the injecting dye into your spinal area and then taking the ct scan images you know at that area so it's very helpful test you know to confirm the diagnosis now what's diagnosed then what are the treatment options for the patient who has been diagnosed with the uh, spinal cord compression you know you know the treatment depends on the cause and the severity of the condition you know and your doctor may recommend like reduced physical activity and immobilization for some time you know and the treatment plan can be can include like uh, uh, anti-inflammatory medications uh, to relieve the pain and the swelling you know and epidural steroid in fact uh, injections another option you know uh, into the spinal area that may help to treat the symptoms and the spinal cord compression you know and uh, the, some people with the spinal cord compression may benefit from physical therapy and the exercise can uh, help to strengthen the abdominal and the leg muscles and uh, this strengthening may help uh, to decrease the symptoms you know and there are some certain home cares uh, like uh, applying ice packs or maybe heating pads and taking over the counter medications that can relieve the pain and swelling you know and uh, the alternative treatments uh, uh, are sometimes also helpful you know like acupuncture and uh, maybe acupressure you know and the chiropractic manipulations are sometimes helpful too right uh, but uh, they should be used uh, with very care you know uh, and uh, mostly they are not advised you know uh, but you're not sure that they will work or not you know and they make they can make it worse you know sometimes they can work but the, sometimes they can make your situation worse as well you know so you need to be very careful when uh, alternative treatments like uh, uh, acupuncture and the manipulation are uh, uh, in your plan you know and uh, your doctor may, uh, uh, may prescribe you the other medications and uh, like the radiation therapy or maybe the chemotherapy or uh, other techniques to just to uh, to shrink it you know that's causing the uh, spinal cord compression you know because it's a very sensitive area you know and uh, surgery may be an option if uh, uh, all the other options fail you know and uh, the appropriate type of surgery depends on the cause of the compression and the surgeons uh, can fuse the vertebra together uh, remove the bone spurs and uh, uh, or increase the space between the vertebra you know so just to ease the pressure you know and but these are very complicated operations you know so they usually they are reserved for as a last resort you know and uh, you know the cause of the compression uh, along with the severity of the symptoms affect your outlook you know and some people respond well to the treatment while others don't you know so there is no uh, uh, I mean, there's no guarantee or the uh, outlook, you know. The next thing is, is it possible to prevent. Well, if it may not be possible to prevent spinal cord compression in all cases, but sometimes, yes, you know, like uh, maintaining a healthy weight and getting the regular exercise can reduce the risk of uh, uh, developing the uh, spinal cord compression, you know, and uh, learning how to lift properly may decrease the risk of or the likelihood of uh, uh, the spinal injuries you know so this way yes you can increase decrease the risk you know uh, but it's not possible all the time uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you very much goodbye